Hi, welcome. Today I would be talking about chronic otitis media. To keep it simple, this is probably the most common cause for ear discharge in our population. So many a times we do have patients coming to us with complaints of ear discharge. Now the duration could vary. Classically, the ear discharge would be painless. So they would say that, you know, since childhood they have been having on and off ear discharge or they could also present with hearing loss. There are two variants. So one is chronic otitis media mucosal and the other one is chronic otitis media squamosal. Now what exactly is the difference between the two entities? In the mucosal variant, it generally is associated with profuse discharge and hearing loss. The squamosal variant, usually the discharge would be very scanty, but will be associated with foul smell. So in mucosal disease, that is the most more common variant, what we find is there will be a perforation in the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. And because of this perforation, whenever water enters the ear or when the patient has a, a, a running nose or a respiratory infection, there can be ear discharge. Now in the squamosal variant, uh, the discharge is not profuse, but these patients present usually very late because most of the times the symptoms get ignored because there is not so much of discharge. So the problem in this subset of patients is that it is associated with something called as cholesteatoma. Now this particular entity has a facial characteristic that is it has a tendency to eat bone. So it invades the bone, it eats away the uh, bone of your uh, hearing, the ossicles basically, the bones that help with your hearing. Those kind of get destroyed because of this active bone destructing property of this particular etiology. Now today I would just focus on the simple perforations and how do you deal with that. So generally when you have a discharging year of more than three months duration, medicines would not help. Now in the initial stages when there is active discharge, the use of topical antibiotic ear drops or antibiotics would be of some help to kind of settle the ear discharge. However, long-standing persisting ear discharge and if you have a perforation with hearing loss, medicines may not be the solution. So in those situations, you may have to resort to a surgical procedure. And the surgery that is done to repair a perforation of the eardrum is what we refer to as tympanoplasty. So what is done here is we kind of reconstruct the, tymp the tympanic membrane with a material that has very similar properties or very similar consistency as the tympanic membrane. And this is something that we call as fascia. So there are a lot of materials that uh, you can use or opt to reconstruct the tympanic membrane. The how however, the most commonest material is the fascia. Now, where do we harvest the fascia from? So the fascia can be harvested from the region just above the pinna or your ear. And this is what is used to reconstruct the tympanic membrane. Apart from that, you can also use cartilage, the lining of the cartilage, which we refer to as a perichondrium. Vein grafts can be used or in very small perforations, even fat can be used to plug the defect. So all these can be harvested in and around from the region of the ear itself. Now, this procedure can be done under general anesthesia or under local anesthesia. However, if the patient is very anxious, apprehensive, it is always a better option to opt for general anesthesia. Now, local anesthesia in our settings, we reserve it for patients who are high risk candidates for general anesthesia or who have comorbidities or if the patient themselves request us to carry out the procedure under local anesthesia. Now, it's fairly a simple procedure. Procedure can be carried out with the help of a microscope when we refer it to as micro ear surgery or with the help of endoscope, which is called as endoscopic ear surgery. At the end of the day, what really matters is the outcomes. So you have to have a new tympanic membrane and you have to have improvement of the hearing. Thank you.